Hi, I'm Will Spock. I'm the former CFO of the Students of Georgetown, Inc. Hi, I'm Christopher Caminiti. I work for the Students of Georgetown, Inc. Incorporated, and I'm the Director of Strategic Marketing at MUG. The Students of Georgetown is known on campus as the Corp. Uh, it's the largest student-run company in the entire country. Last year, we had about $5.8 million in revenue. On campus today, we have about 400 employees. We have uh, six storefronts, three coffee services, uh, two grocery services, and uh, like a salad restaurant that primarily serves uh, salads, fruit bowl, and then um, smoothies. I would say at the early part of 2015, we were kind of in the dark ages of data analytics. We had a lot of raw data, but we no one knew how to use it. No one was even looking at it. It was kind of just, it was just there. About a year ago, our point of sale system was house made and it wasn't that useful in terms of analytics. Uh, it required quite a bit of a coding background and familiarity with statistics to really garner a lot of useful information out of that. We decided to partner with FICO because they allowed us to take that step towards transactional data. For us, big data mainly meant looking at thousands upon thousands of transactions. For one month, we were dealing with over 100,000 transactions, which is small compared to a lot of other companies' use of big data, but that's big for us. Now, when you're just looking at an item, it's great to know if someone's buying a sandwich and how much they're buying. But what's even more useful is to say, what happens when they buy a sandwich? What are they buying it with? Is our revenue doing better if they're buying sandwiches on average, or is it doing better if they're buying something else on average? So one of the examples we used with FICO was we paired chips, drinks, and sandwiches because that's what the data told us we weren't doing enough of. Only 7% of customers were taking advantage of that. So we figured that we should boost that up way more because everyone loves chips, drinks, and sandwiches together. It's a pretty standard combo. It's really hard to uh, win an argument if it's just two people speculating because my speculation's as good as yours. But when you have data on one side and you say, I'm not just basing this on speculation, I'm basing this off a of fact. Big data is really about that sort of increased transparency. Our, our motto is students serving students, and that's what this product's really been able to do, is cater to the preferences of the entire Georgetown community and really employ that goal that you're talking about for like small businesses to really interact and meet the needs of their customers.